We turn now to our Renee Cooper. Renee, you talked to people in Minneapolis right after President Biden released his statement. Callan, yeah, not a lot of surprise among voters in Minneapolis, although we did break the news to several people out and about on this Sunday afternoon. The Sunday announcement by the president. It's about time. Not much of a shock to Metro voters. Not surprised. We we're just having breakfast and somebody got a text and we kind of all clapped. Even among those hearing it for the very first time. Yep. Sorry to break the news to yeah. you. Yeah, well, it's not unexpected. Yeah. I actually honestly feel it's a good thing. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Um, well, I feel like with this health and ever since he had COVID, he's kind of gone downhill. So I think some new younger blood might be a good choice. Joe Biden dropping out of the race after a wild and unifying week for the Republican Party backing Donald Trump, just as the Democratic Party's support of the president unravels. The late July decision making history. Well, I don't think anybody's come across as this not in touch this late in the race. I kind of decided earlier this week that he had to step aside and that it's the right thing even for his legacy. Another notable shakeup in a contentious and tumultuous election season, especially for these young voters. Thrown right into the fire. Yep. <laughs> Ahead of their first presidential election. Yeah, no, I really don't know who to vote for at this point. Cool to be honest, like mm -hmm. 30 years from now, our kids are going to be asking us about this mm -hmm. in their history class. So... I'm glad it's not boring, but it would be nice to have some comfort. Now, those voters we spoke to say Biden's decision has not impacted the way they're voting. They're all either voting for their party's candidate, no matter who ends up replacing Biden, or they remain just as undecided as they were before. As for who voters would like to see as a replacement, I heard a few mentions of Vice President Kamala Harris and one mention of Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer as well. In the newsroom, Renee Cooper. 5 Eyewitness News.